So we just had a nice building work all the way through. It's just first bit after uh, Belmont. We don't, didn't want to overdo him. It was three weeks to go, so we're pleased with what he's done today. He is, he's been lazy all season. Um, he, but mentally, he's, he's settled in really good, taking us to track well. But once he does a, a piece of work, you'll find out you'll see his next work will be sharper. And it's rained all night, so he's, um, he's just a little bit on the slow side there. Listen, it's very tough to beat the Americans on their own, in their own back garden, on the dirt. John Garson has done it uh, on the Tapita, but um, it's, it's very tough to beat him. But we're here, it's a different program we're doing to the Kentucky, where he had a flight to, in the last 10 days, he had a flight to England, then two days later get on the flight to America. Uh, and then he was just an immature horse to, to the crowd, track, track here, everything. Um, so mentally this will do him good. He's on the track every day, so we're, we're pleased with him. I, I reckon he'll just be off the leaders. Mm -hmm. um, you've got the Bob Baffert's horse and the O'Brien horse, they're the two main horses what go on, so he'll just probably uh, jump well and behind them, third the fourth really. Mm -hmm. There is a sort of negative part how much he's never really exper experienced kickback. So that, that's the only negative part I find. But otherwise, we'll just take it as the race goes.